Good morning, boys and girls. Here is your lesson on Unit 3, uh, Animal Disguises. So you'll need a couple of things. You're going to need a pencil, your language arts packet, and your animal adaptations book. At any moment in today's lesson, boys and girls, if you need to pause to catch up, please feel free to pause anywhere you need to and uh, write down what you need and then continue on with the lesson, okay? That way you can always stay caught up with what's going on. Let's open up our packet to the very first page that we need to write on, which says context clues chart. We're gonna work on this today. Now yesterday I introduced some new vocabulary words to you that we were going to see in the story um, Animal Disguises. So one of those words was survive, right? There's survive, behave, adaptation, undetected, and I forgot to give you reptiles, I'm so sorry, <laughs> and frigid. Our lesson today will be to find the context clues of all these words and then write the definition for them. I also gave you some words that we might need just to help us better understand our reading. And we wrote those definitions inside of our writing journal. Those are the ones that were on the very first page right here. So let's take a look at some of those words. Yesterday it was aid and that just meant to provide what is useful or necessary. And remember, we're talking about animals, so what kind of special features and traits help aid in their survival? We also saw the word features and traits, which are two of the same, almost the same things, right? We said features are interesting or important parts, qualities or abilities, like a cheetah's speed or a giraffe's long neck, and traits Qualities that make a person or thing different from one another, like a tiger's stripes, or an elephant's trunk, or a bird's wings, okay? So these are all qualities that make them different from other animals. So those are some of the vocabulary words that we are going to need to help us better understand the reading, and these are the ones that we're going to find today. Now your assignment was to use to go onto the website called kidsmyth.net and find the definitions here. At the end of our lesson today, I will show you just how to do that part. Before we begin, we'll need to read Animal Disguises and Animal Adaptations. So please turn to page three and four in your Animal Adaptations book. And instead of me reading it out loud, I thought we could just listen to it on Benchmark Advance. So I'm gonna minimize the window here. I want you to follow along as uh, the computer program reads it out loud to us. Relies on camouflage to stop. And start all the way from the beginning. Short read one. Remember to annotate as you read. Animal Disguises by Maria Garo. All animals have special features that help them stay alive or survive. Sometimes, the way they act or behave gives them an advantage. They also have physical features that improve their chances of survival. For example, animals that hunt for their food are called predators. The animals these predators hunt are called prey. Both predators and prey have traits that help them hide from one another. How do they do it? Many animals have skin or fur that blends into their environment. Their body color matches the colors around them. For example, a green grasshopper can remain unseen in tall green grass. This ability to blend into one's surroundings is called camouflage. The word camouflage means disguise in French. Camouflage is an adaptation. 
a trait animals are born with that aids in their survival. Camouflage can help prey hide from predators. It can also help a predator remain undetected to sneak up on its prey. The leaf butterfly relies on camouflage to survive. Camouflage Q and A. Q. Is it a twig? A. No. It's a walking stick. They are insects that live in forests and grasslands on branches and twigs. They keep safe by blending in. Predators, such as birds and small reptiles, have a hard time spotting walking sticks. Q. Is it a giant snowball? A. No, it's a polar bear. They live in the frigid, cold Arctic. Their white fur blends with the snow and ice. From a distance, it is difficult for other animals to see the bears. This helps the bears hunt, too. Q. Is it a rock? A. No, it's a stonefish. Stonefish have bodies that look like the coral and rocks found on the ocean floor. They blend into the sand and wait for prey to swim nearby. Then stonefish grab and eat their prey. Q. Is it a sand hill? A. No, it's a horned lizard. They mainly live in deserts. Their sand-colored, bumpy skin and flat body help them blend into the desert ground to avoid being a snack for hungry birds and snakes. All right. So now that we looked at the reading, let's go ahead and fill out our chart. We heard some of those words that we were trying to find uh, the definitions for yesterday. So let's see if we can find it using the context clues around that word. Now you might have done context clues back in second grade, and context clues just means that the words around the vocabulary word will tell us what the word means. So survive, you see there's a number one right below it. That means it's in paragraph one. So let's take a look where we see the word survive. And I see it here too, so I want you to underline it. It's right in that sentence right here. So in order to find out what it means, we have to look at the words around it or the context clues that will help us figure out what it means. So it says here, all animals have special features that help them stay alive or survive. And I think I figured it out. Do you see where it says the word or? That word or means another way to say something, right? Uh, another thing. So when it says here, help them stay alive or survive, that word or tells me that there's another meaning for the words stay alive. It just means or survive. So you can say the word stay alive or survive. So right here where it says our definition, we're going to use what we see here, which is stay alive. Nice job, guys. Now this part at the end, we're going to leave blank because you're going to do this one on your own. So let's continue on with the word behave. Now behave is also found in which paragraph? Paragraph one, right? So let's see if we can find it. And there it is. I'm going to underline it and I want you to underline it as well. Let's read the context clues or the words around it or in the sentence to see if we can figure out what it means. 
Sometimes the way they act or behave gives them an advantage. Ah, I see a similar word. Remember when we wrote the word or here? Well, there it is again. That's our context clue telling us it could mean this or this. So behave, if I move back, let's see, here we go. The way they act or behave. They must mean the same thing, right? Stay alive or survive, the way they act or behave. Okay, so right here our definition, the way they act. Pause it if you need to, boys and girls, or if you're ready to move on, let's move on. I'm on the third uh, word here, adaptation. So let's see, it's in paragraph three. And there it is, adaptation. So I'm just going to scoot this up here so you can see. Camouflage is an adaptation. Okay, camouflage is an adaptation. It doesn't mean that adaptation is camouflage. You know what I mean? Like, that's not the definition for it. It's an example of it. So let's see. Let's keep reading. Camouflage is an adaptation, a trait um, animals are born with that aids in their survival. Ah, I found it, you guys. Do you see this here? That's called an M dash. Okay, an M dash. And I'm going to write it right here. M dash. It means that anytime we see this, a definition of that word is about to follow. So adaptation with the M dash, here is its definition. A trait animals are born with that aids in their survival. So traits, oh, we're going to have to write this pretty small. Here we go. Traits animals are born with to aid in their survival. I'm going to write to help because that's what aid means. You could say aid or help. Same thing. To help in surviving. Pause where you need to. Continue on where you don't need. I was hoping I could zoom in more, but that's okay. All right. Undetected is also in paragraph three. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Undetected. It can also help a predator remain undetected to sneak up on its prey. Hmm. Let's see, I think I see the word to, right? And also help a predator remain undetected to sneak up on its prey. So I think the words to sneak up on its prey, that tells me, I'm pretty sure what undetected means if you can figure it out, right? So. To sneak up on its prey is what undetected means. So do you think that the prey knows the predator is coming? No, so undetected is to like a, is like to go without noticing, right? right? Without noticing. So when something is undetected, you don't even notice it. And that can mean the same thing as to sneak up on its prey. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to end this video right here, but I want you to watch part two of Context Clues chart. That way we can finish up this section right here, and I'll show you how to do the revised definition right here.